Hi everybody, I'm Marty Whitney with Artitude Adjustment and I teach fine art, not fine art. I teach fun art, not fine art. Let me just lift this a little bit and hope it doesn't pop out at me. Um, right now, my husband and I travel full time in our motor home. I call this my traveling art studio. Yes, he goes along with that most of the time. And uh, today I'm gonna show you some of the art that I've done lately. Um, I hope that when you come on, you'll say hi. And uh, I'm glad that you're here. And uh, if this works out, I might do it again. Anyway, today we're gonna be doing some Chalk Couture transfers. Chalk Couture is a company out of Utah. It's very a very uh, young company. They've only been in business since uh, last July and I became a designer which means that uh, for me I'm able to get a very good price on uh, the transfers that I use. Hi Sandy. And I just um, I really like the product and it goes right along with what I teach anyway. So whenever I'm given an option of being a, a of being in a hurry this is something that I can do this is a gift you can give to someone and it only took you 15 minutes but you would have paid a lot more for it in the store so anyway what we're going to do first is something that I've done in classes before and this is going to be a shirt let me see if I can get this to go down to my I want it to go down to my project so you can see it as I produce it. Okay, this is a black v-neck shirt, three-quarter length. We've used this type of, of project in several of my classes. They're always successful. Everyone likes the finished product. What I'm gonna do is, um, this one is called Enjoy the Journey and it's a cutest little bicycle. Uh, and all that you do with Chalk Couture is use these inks, and I usually use speedball inks whenever I'm doing fabric, um, but these inks are permanent, and all you have to do after you finish the product project is to um, press it, um, just heat press it. Uh, I use a Cricut heat press, and it um, does very well. Uh, thing about these inks, and I'm going to get the color that we're going to use first but not only do I use the inks but I use water if I need to thin my inks out maybe they've gotten I haven't used them in a long time or something but uh, I also use squeegees to apply the ink to the transfer the transfer is like a silk screen transfer um, and so what you're doing is uh, the white part of this will take the after I take the back off will um, adhere to the uh, project and I'm just going to peel this off and apply it to the shirt. Let me get my glasses on. Usually you just take the end or the corner and it comes right off like this. Just right off. The other thing that you do with the uh, transfers is they have a sticky back. So what you do is you kind of like take some of the fuzziness off of it by applying it to, um, here it is. So it's this part of it is sticky and this isn't. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball this and put it on my shirt. And then I'm going to take the white paste because I think it will re look really sharp on the black as contrast. Now this one is an LAT that I bought from Amazon, but I, I've done some others that I really like. This is called a Tri-Mountain shirt. Same design basically. They're made very well. They hold up and you can wash this in the washing machine if you're careful with it. I might even 
hand wash it uh, first couple of times just to make sure that everything's okay. But you can see that the ink that I'm using is kind of the consistency of marshmallow fluff. So I'm just going to apply this and I've got some other projects that we're going to be looking at uh, after I do this because I'm going to give this time to dry and then I'm going to apply the next part of the um, project. All you do is take a little bit of the ink and I'm not even using the tool that I need to use. That's just a stir. I'll use a squeegee to put this on and the small squeegee um, just makes it go on very fast. You apply it like this. Hope you can see it. Yep, you can see it. And you just remember to put it on fast and take it off fast. And you've got a beautiful project started. Um, I've got about five colors I'm going to put in this, and that's why I'm letting this dry a little bit before I go forward. But you can see that I'll take my squeegee and wipe off the excess. And that's all you need to do. So it is permanent ink. They do sell a chalk paste, but you wouldn't want to use the chalk paste on the clothing. I'm just going to take this off now. And I do have a cloth over here that I can use to wipe off my hands because I can feel that there's a little stickiness on there. Okay. Now after you take this off, I'm going to put it in some water so it can just rinse off. You can use You can use these um, transfers many times. I use them in classes over and over and over. And I see that I've got a, I don't want to smear this that I've that went over the line with, but I will um, probably touch it up with a little black Sharpie or something like that if I uh, get any on there. Now, I'm gonna set this over to the side. Uh, one of the other things I did was put something underneath this so it's just a plastic cloth, a plastic, um, oh, this is just a plastic, um, what do you call them, uh, cover. Um, and I'm going to set it over here to dry a little bit. The rest of the bike will be in just a minute. And I just spilled everything. I dropped it. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is I brought... Someone gave me a beautiful flower arrangement. And it's kind of hard to carry it around with me, but I am because I'm going to put some more flowers in it. And I'm going to put a transfer that appears to be something like a, chain, uh, like a chicken fencing. But it's going to give my... It's going to give it a little bit of uh, personality, and all I'm going to do is transfer those white lines to the glass container. And I'll do this with what I was talking about a minute ago. This is called chalk paste. Uh, this is a little less um, permanent. And I'm just peeling this off of the backing and I have marked it so I know where to put it back on there so that it's at the top. So this is sticky and I'm just going to apply it to the edge of this and then smooth it out. She said. Notice that it doesn't go all the way around. It doesn't matter. It is going to be cute as a button. 
I'm going to take um, my squeegee and kind of get the air out of this, make it smooth, just to make sure I don't have any air on this. And our shirt is still drying over there. We're going to go back to it in a minute and we'll put some, um, put the bicycle on there before we enjoy our journey. Okay. I'm going to get the air out of this and then we're going to apply chalk couture uh, paste to the glass. I had a class uh, last week in Goshen, Indiana. I didn't even mention to you where I am today, but we did um, camper, like camper on, um, I was at a motor home rally, and we did these mugs. Uh, and I put, uh, there's a, a transfer out that kind of talks about camping and wildlife and going, you know, getting in your motor home and going places. It's adorable. I'm gonna put some on a shirt in a little bit. And uh, after we, they put this, these on their mugs, and they're beautiful mugs, uh, they had a they had an oven at it was a state fairgrounds or it was a county fairgrounds in Goshen, but it's huge, and uh, so they let us use their ovens and they turned out so beautiful. Um, hi Sheila, hi Gina, and uh, I would do that again, uh, but I got to make sure that the places have ovens. Um, you could do it and do it with a heat gun, but I was dealing with about 25 people. So we just did them in the oven at 350 degrees for 20 minutes and then I turned the oven off. Okay, now on this one, we're going to apply uh, the paste and I've chosen a gray, it's called Elephant, and I've chosen the gray because it kind of looks fancy. Uh, I'm going to stir it with one of my stir sticks and apply it with a squeegee. So, but I would do that all over again on a mug. I'm going to take a smaller one on this one. And all you do is start from here and just liberally apply this, but then you go back and you just make sure it's a thin coat. Um, you keep it wet, that's why you want to take it off as soon as you apply it. Um, and that works best, just to put it on, take it off in a hurry. And just, how easy is this everybody? I think chalk couture is one of the best things that has come out. I, ha I carry a silhouette vinyl cutter with me uh, on board my traveling art studio and uh, I use it very little now because this is not only fun but it's fast and I get real good results with it I don't have to worry about uh, well I'm not very good at the silhouette I guess because um, I haven't specialized in that I love the silhouette machine I think it was a very good investment but chalk couture is just like, do I want to spend an hour on a project or 10 minutes? I want to spend 10 minutes and for it to be as beautiful. But I do love the silhouette for its own applications. And you can see I'm just going on around this. It's going to look like chicken wire. And... Colleen, nice to, I'm glad you came by. Um, the, uh, the class that I taught was a lot of fun. It was only an, like an hour and a half. Um, but what was, what was so nice is that the people were just lots of fun to work with. Uh, and that's always the case. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna give a 
demonstration of what we did in one of our classes there. Uh, we also did dominant pendant jewelry. If you were in any of my classes where I've done that, just say so and whether or not you enjoyed the class. I think I've got this covered and we're gonna take it off right now. Oh, I see some spots. Now, you can, like I said, you can use these transfers over and over. That's another thing I like about it. It kind of justifies the cost of it or your craft a little bit. And I can store them. Oh, I see. I kept seeing this light over here. Okay. And now I'm going to take this off and see how well it adhered to this because I've never used this stencil before. Now this one comes with a big old rooster that is beautiful. Okay, that's great. And I'm going to put this over in the water to take the paint off of it. The other thing that you clean up this um, paint with, or the paste, is just alcohol wipes. So after you put it in the water, you just take um, alcohol wipe and wipe your transfer off. Now this is just as rustic as I wanted it to be. A lot of times um, there are, now when there are spots like this, I'll just go over, well that's the, that was the end one. But if there are spots, I might just take a little paste and a paintbrush and just touch it up. So that is going to be drying too. Now, I'll come back with my Enjoy the Journey. And I'm going to put, let me see. Make sure I have all the parts here. I'm gonna put the, let me see. I'm gonna put the wheels on next. And, you know, there's some consideration that has to go into that, isn't there? Because I don't want the wheels to be in the wrong place. And this allows for where your wheels are going to be. And I'm gonna want this a little farther up here. Okay, I'm gonna take the back off of this. And the wheels are gonna be white. This is just the cutest little um, transfer. I love it. And I'm going to take white ink. Got rid of that. And the white ink has been stirred before. That remember marshmallow fluff? Hey, Kathy. Hey, Jerry. And I'm going to just put the wheels on this bike. I appreciate y'all watching. has about five colors in it so I could screw up any moment now maybe not did I tell you where we were though we left Goshen and we are in Shipshawana Indiana right now um, if you follow me on Facebook you'll see some of the pictures I've really enjoyed this area it's kind of very calming area because it is slow 
uh, slow moving around here. Uh, now they might think it's fast moving. I didn't. I didn't get that idea. Okay, so we're ready to take. the wheels off, the wheel transfer off, okay? Now we're gonna let this dry a little bit and I'm gonna go on to another project. And I hope that you'll stay with me till the end because this takes a little while because we're gonna be using different colors. Okay, we'll let that dry for a minute. Like I say, that is a cute little transfer. Now, the glass bowl. Oh, I wanted to show you something. Have you ever gotten paint on your clothes? Uh, no, maybe I should say, have you ever not gotten paint on your clothes? Maybe that's what they say to me. Did you ever paint and not get stuff all over you? Well, this happened to me when I was wearing my neon green shirt. I don't know what I was painting, but it got a spot of blue and we're just about to remove that right now. I'm going, hey Leslie, uh, Teresa, uh, I do dream in my artitude mode. <laughs> okay, here is my big old blue spot. And I have these three little camper, these were left over from my rally. Okay, one says, let's go explore. I thought that was supposed to be turned around. Okay, and this one says, let's get lost and this one says oh yeah oh yeah okay so i'm gonna put first i'm gonna put this one on there and i believe that i'll use what kind of uh i think i'll use i'm gonna try to cover it up i'm gonna have to go a little off center though so somebody's gonna have to use their imagination and say she must have meant to do that okay and let's take oh yeah and you know what I think I'll use this was so cute in the class so everybody enjoyed it love their coffee cups you know what everybody says before they start a class? I can't paint. Oh, okay. I can't, I'm not creative. Yes, you are. I can't, whatever it is, you can. And so this, see, still has sticky on it when you do this. So, I'm gonna try to get it straight though. I'm going to do it with black ink because I want it to really show up. So let me get some black ink out of here. I'm right here, right here. Black ink, please. Ink, 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 ink. going to use you know what purple is it's going to look better than black so I'm just going to get this out I've never used this particular ink and I'm going to put a little bit of water in it it isn't the consistency of my marshmallow fluff okay and then if it's, are y'all with me hey Leslie now, if Leslie were here, we could have a Pampered Chef chalk couture demonstration, right? Yeah. Okay, we're just gonna, I think this is okay. Put a little bit more water in there. So, 
we just stir it around until it gets I could be doing that with my thing majiggy okay now you think this is um this is not a mess last week I did domino pendants with alcohol inks a beautiful project just beautiful but it gets in your cuticles so we, we give out gloves and everybody says oh I'm not gonna get this on me you do okay now I'm just going to start putting the ink on here just cover up my transfer area now this this particular this particular transfer comes with look like that many transfers on it so it's good for a coffee cup or a mug um, a glass uh, something you could if you if I recommend to people I wouldn't put it in the dishwasher but after I saw what came out of the oven after we had put the put it in there for 20 minutes I'd have no reservations about that I really wouldn't so this just will be something that I'm doing while I'm waiting on the bicycle wheels to dry a little bit I could be using a hair dryer on it I know or I could have four or five of them going at one time so you could see the progression of it I'm not that organized y'all so let's go to the last one. Oh yeah that's what it says oh yeah now this this weekend is Memorial Day this in case you didn't know it's different than Veterans Day because this is the day that we honor those that lost their lives fighting for our freedom so I don't know how you're going to spend it but be sure to mention that to people that you know and love that this is the reason we have on Memorial Day okay that's the end of that and I'm going to put this paste back over here and we're going to take these transfers off and ooh, let's go explore Let's get ink all over me again. Oh, I can't even tell where I got blue ink. That's likely not even there. And that says, let's get lost and all oh, yeah. So let me go put this in. Look what I did, look what I did. Uh, let me go put this in some water to get the paint off of it. And Talk amongst yourselves. Okay. Now there are flowers all around here right now. Of course, if you're in Shipshawana, that's what you expect. But I think it's next week that they do the planning of the quilts, the quilts. And so they'll have a quilt. Um, what you'll do is you, you get a CD from the uh, visitor center. And ta-da, 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 ta-da. And uh, I'm gonna bring this back over here and let's continue the progress of our bicycle. This is the next part that comes is the, let me see, the next part is, da -da 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 -da, paddle it's on the left. What do you do? This kind of, this has been designed to where Everything just comes out perfect. Supposedly, that's what they say. Okay, 
me. Now, if it isn't, I should be able to tell. Put it down again. And you know what? I might have done that in the wrong order, but it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. This is a forgiving project. And I have uh, had people in my classes that have made mistakes. Man, by the end, you don't even know it. Okay. Okay, we're going to try that now. Wheels. This one is going to be a teal. We're going to have the bike, a teal. So, this is a beautiful teal. In fact, it's the color of Chalk Couture stuff. A lot of their colors are in this teal. So, anyway. I'll stir it a little bit just to make sure that everything is okay, and it is, it is perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, the pigment in this sometimes, uh, I've noticed that it may just need uh, to be spread with one of these squeegees, and, it, and it's fine. So, you know, it may come out irregular or whatever. Okay. Da, 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 da. Now, after we do this, this is when we glam it up a little bit. I'll put this on there, and then we start doing some cute little things to it. It has a basket. It has a flowers. It has different colored seat. It has different colored handlebars. It has flowers. And... I said you just put it on there and take it off and let's just hope for the best okay I'm just gonna put my little stir stick back here put my lid back on there and now I'm ready to take this off okay now, I probably could go over that one more time because of this being a black shirt. It's perfect just the way it is. So, some of you say, how do you like being in your traveling art studio? I'm, I'm very happy. We've been doing this for about 10 years. That means when I said goodbye to the yard man, the pool man, um, and anybody else who was helping me out, it was fun. It was saying, goodbye, I'm so sorry to see you go. Yeah. And uh, we haven't looked back. Now, what I started doing was predominantly RV rallies and um, oh, I, I do a lot of different teaching assignment so okay now I found this I'm gonna put this back over here so it can dry a little bit more before we go to the basket and the seat and if y'all have to go I understand this is a a long project but I plan to show you a couple more things while you're waiting now oh there, you know, transform your wine glass in a pouring position to transform my t-shirt with wine dribble stain. And it says, see more. If I can see that. Oh, the, yeah, that's great. Brooke. Hey, Brooke. Hey, Kathy again. Uh, but definitely, it's good for wine stains. You can do that. I found this pillow. I don't know whether you can see the whole thing. It's kind of chintzy. And I thought... But you know what? I look for these things when I go out shopping for things for glasses. And you think of, what do you think of when you see an apple? A teacher, a teacher's gift. And if I ever get this thing back in there, I'll be surprised. But you know, I took, um, I told the man that was there, I said, if you have any more of these that I can buy? And he says, lady, I got 600 of these. 
So if I like this, then I'm going to be set up for another class. If not, I've only lost a couple of dollars and using one of my, and, and enjoying using one of my beautiful transfers. So, uh, like I said, my next live will probably be our domino pendants and you're gonna love that so much you're gonna want it you're gonna want that everybody loves their domino pendants and I say okay you got three now because there's three to a class um, you can give two of them away and I said no I'm not giving any of them away I'm keeping them so we peeled off the transfer from this and I'm gonna put it at a the at an angle I don't know whether that's right or not but it says you're the sweetest and it's on a beautiful red apple red apple okay and I believe that I'll just do this with a white ink and I'm going to use this plastic insert because I don't want to ruin or for it to bleed through the other side. So you think of everything. <laughs> no, I don't. This is the white. We've already stirred it up, so I know the consistency is like marshmallow fluff, and now I want some marshmallows. Okay, I have a little package of wipes take one and just get some of this paint off of it so I'm not getting it all over. I have a big can of these and I think they must be in another part of my studio. Uh, so this is the one that's a little more permanent but it comes out on my hand. Okay. Now I'll get a squeegee and these, there are several different types of squeegees. You can, you know, they come in a package like this, or you can cut them up into eighths or fourths or whatever you want. Or you could get one that's a handheld one. And I also use this one. I might use this one, uh, which they use in, uh, in the fine art part of uh, Hobby Lobby. Do y'all ever go in Hobby Lobby? Have you ever seen me in there? Good. Well, I spend a lot of time and 40% coupons off. In fact, it was just in fact. In fact, I think they should give pins. This is an this is an idea for marketing at, at Hobby Lobby. They should give you pins for the ones that you go to in each city because I hit them all. I promise you, I hit them all. The one yesterday, you would think. There would have been one in, well, maybe not Shipshuan, but you would have thought maybe there was one in Elkhart. Nope. You got to go to Wakamusa, and that one's next to Me I forget. They're all Indian names, and I, I, I get Wakamusa and Wikamasa, and I get them all, all mixed up. Okay, so we've spent at least three minutes putting this ink on here and I'm just now going to wipe off the excess and take the transfer off of this. I can I, I can just keep it. Uh, I do need to go over here Marty and uh, how, let's let's finish over here at sweetest. Okay. Mikawasa and Wakamusa. I got those two mixed up. They really are cities in Indiana, and they're beautiful. But I couldn't tell you the difference between the two of them. Because I just get, can, it's just something that isn't registering uh, in my art brain. They are just finishing an Integra rally over in Goshen. And there are so many Integras, if you're familiar with motorhomes, that have come in here today. Uh, And they are what they call strutting their stuff. We have a Tiffin Allegro bus, just like Kathy and Wayne and 
Leslie and we all are Tiffinites from Red Bay, Alabama. Okay, so we're ready to roll. That's what the art studio does. It rolls. And we'll take, you're the sweetest. Now that turned out very sweet. Put my transfer over here to soak. And if you can see that, you can see it's gorgeous. So cute, and I might do this. I might do this for a class. If you like it, would you say so? Help me make up a decision of that. How long would that have taken me on a silhouette? Uh, well, I may not have that much time left, y'all. Okay. Like I said, I do use these plastic inserts on the cloth so they don't bleed through. This one has kind of shown me that I needed on a black one, on a black shirt, I probably could have used uh, a little more ink. So that's for next time for my new one. Okay, now I'm going to take this basket and I'm gonna paint it white or I'm going to paint see what's on my brain I'm going to use the white ink and it has an, a flower and a basket and I will use this one because it, the handle gives me a little bit of an advantage when I'm in such a small space that's just me you might not have any trouble with it. So I'm just putting the ink down. Now, if y'all want to go to the grocery store and come back, I'm sure I'll be here um, when you get back. Okay. Now, let me wipe off my hands. Because I don't want to get, this ink is permanent, and I don't want to get it on my shirt. I think I could probably do a an entire um, example of, of see how cute that is. Okay, I'll put this over here in the water. I'm going to use the seat, da, da, da. the seat and the handlebars are going to be white. I have so much trouble on that first one getting that back off of there. Okay, this is going to be just like this. And I'll put some more white on here. Don't need very much at all. Is this fun? Okay, I told, uh, somebody sent me an ad the other day at how much they pay at Hobby Lobby to work there. I said, they wouldn't have to pay me. I do it for nothing. And now we have the seat. Seat, seat, seat. I know I've got it right here somewhere. Seat. must be looking at it. I'm going to put these little transfer things over here. There it is. And put the last transfer on the bike seat. Apply the ink. And take it off after I get the excess off of it. Now, I 
I'm going to take this back over here and let it dry just a little bit. So, uh, I don't know, I think I could do a little bit more on that. We've really done about three projects now. I do have I'm going to set these over here so I can put them organize these a little bit later. Oh, this is what I was looking for. I've got this permanent pin and I'm just going to black it out so you don't see where I went out of the line. There. Okay. Now we're almost through with the bicycle. I'm gonna put a yellow leaf, some yellow detail on here. This is like a school bus yellow. No, it's called bumblebee, sorry. Looks like a school bus to me. And I'm just going to take the yellow, Now, the other thing that really is cute about this project is that they have these little holes that they've left in the middle of these flowers. See them? See the little holes that they've left in them? Those align up perfectly with the little dots in Enjoy Your Journey. And I'm going to put this over here so it looks like it's kind of going over the basket. I'm not even going to take the white off because I'm not doing that much. Okay. And I'll take that off. I'm going to put it in the water and we're going to do some green. Green will be for the leaf, and I'll put it on with a small squeegee. Thank y'all for being so patient. I really enjoy, I enjoy when I do the chalk couture. It's really a lot of fun, and it's very relaxing. Honestly, it is. Okay, now I'll do the leaf. And I'm going to make it kind of look like it's coming out of the basket. Yes, Kathy, the, the, that's what I love about the uh, Chalk Couture transfers. Some of mine I've used, I haven't been doing it that long, so I'd say some of mine I've used like seven times. Uh, there's some of them that I go to, you know, I'll take them to classes with me and people will share them in the classes um, over and over and over. There's some that I've done um, like at the FMCA rally in Perry, Georgia. Uh, we did them on a purse. It was kind of a pleather, pleather purse and they looked beautiful. They really turned out well and they thought, these, hey, these, I think I got them at a really good price at Walmart on clearance. So, that is, that is the, oh, one more color I'm going to put on here, and then that's it. We finished our shirt for the day. And like I said, uh, just peel this off from the corner. It's sticky on the back, and we're going to put a red I'm going to do this in red. Oh, somebody said, well, where's your husband if you're rolling down the road and you are doing this? I locked him in the closet. No, I didn't really. I didn't lock him in the closet. He helps me out so much and he would be up here writing, you know what he'd be doing, cleaning my transfers. So, this is the last color we're going to do. 
and we're through. Now that's adorable. I may, if I did this again on a shirt, and I am, I've got the Tri Mountain shirt that I'm gonna do, uh, do this one on again. I, I would do a couple of things different. The black is way too much contrast for this turquoise. So it doesn't show it up the way I'd like for it to. I'd like another coat or two of the turquoise but we're gonna have to do that again. Now I'm gonna see if I can get this out all of a sudden. I just blotted red paint all over here. But like I said, everything I have has paint on it. Okay, this is it. Enjoy the journey. Beautiful little, this is just the cutest little transfer. I love it. And I will do it again. I may not do it on a shirt. The next time I may do it on a chalkboard. I'd like to say how much I appreciate you being here today and spending the time looking at this um, uh, Facebook Live. I hope you'll follow me on Facebook. You're invited to if you're not already. And you are welcome to share this. It's a wonderful tutorial. And if you're interested, in any transfers, you can buy them. I think my face, uh, not my Facebook, but my website for Chalk Couture is listed here. And I just like to say how honored I am that <laughs> that. Uh, oh, I love it too. That it. Uh, I love it that the, the that uh, you know that if you decided you wanted to sell them by your on your own and just do it for gifts or whatever, uh, they have a ninety nine dollar. Uh, kit that you start with and they give you like over $250 worth of product to start with uh, lots of transfers and paste everything you need comes with that and they uh, they and then it's $19 a $19.99 a month and you get all of your transfers you buy 40% off so it's really a good deal and I love the people that are in the company as well so I hope you're gonna have a good rest of the day Thank you so much for being here, and I appreciate you being here, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.